the supple function of a good. How much of a good gets produced and supplied will depend on many factors. Some of these factors are the own price of the good, the prices of inputs used to produce the goods, the technology used etc. Of these factors the own price of the good is an important factor determining how much of it will be supplied. The supple leaf function captures that relationship. The general form of supple leaf function of a good is the following. QSX equals F, PX, where X is the good. Recall that a function expresses a cause-effect relationship. The above relationship indicates that the quantity supplied varies directly with the price of the good under consideration and the relationship is one of a positive correlation between quantity supplied and own price. As price of good X rises the quantity supplied tends to increase. And when own price of good X decreases the quantity supplied tends to decline. This is supposed to be a normal behavior on the part of suppliers. Of course, such a relationship is based on Ceteris Paribus assumption. All other influences like technology, prices of inputs and so on are held constant. A supple lease schedule of good X indicates the quantities that will be supplied by potential sellers at its prevailing prices. In other words, it lists the various amounts of a good that potential suppliers will put up for sale at the alternate prices prevailing. A supple lease schedule will look something like the following. When the above schedule is plotted on a two-dimensional graph with price of good X measured on the ordinate and the quantity supplied on the abscissa, we get the supple Lee curve of good X which will be upward sloping. This is shown below. The supple Lee curve can be linear, straight line, or non-linear, curve. In the diagram below we have depicted both the cases. An upward sloping supply curve implies that as price rises the quantity supplied tends to increase. A higher price induces a larger supply. The supple Lee curve or a market supply curve is an aggregate of individual supply curves. Since the supple Lee curve is the graph of supple Lee function, it is also based on Ceteris Paribus assumption, and considers only the relationship between quantity supplied of a good and own price. Note that in defining the concepts of demand and supply the stress is on the word potential. Each buyer or seller comes to the market with her notion of how much to buy or sell. If some buyers have made plans to buy at a given price will leave the market if price of the good rises. They will be priced out of the market. Similarly, if market price is low, those sellers who had made plans to sell at a higher price will be priced out of the market. Hence, the emphasis is on the word potential in the definitions of demand and supply. Like the demand curve, the supple Lee curve also indicates the planned, expected, behavior of sellers, or, producers come sellers. At any given price it would indicate the maximum quantity produced and supplied. To put it in a different way, if a given quantity of a good is to be produced and supplied, the supple Lee curve would indicate the minimum price of the good expected by each seller, in order to cover the cost of production and to earn a normal rate of profit. In the figure 2.4. If OC1 quantity is to be forthcoming in the market, OB1 price must prevail. However, if the price is E1Q1 equals OB2 then an output OC1 will not be produced and supplied. At such a price if OC1 is produced and supplied the producer come supplier will suffer losses.